Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're having trouble with your pallet jack not lowering properly, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll go over the common reasons why your pallet jack won't go down and provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to fix it. Before we dive into the fixes, let's discuss the common reasons why a pallet jack might refuse to lower. Understanding the root cause will help you troubleshoot and apply the appropriate solution more effectively. There are several reasons why your pallet jack might not be lowering correctly. It could be due to a faulty release valve, a broken or misaligned spring, a loose or misaligned chain, a damaged hydraulic pump, the air in the hydraulic system, or a lack of lubrication between the handle and fork linkages. Let's get into the steps to fix it. If your pallet jack won't go down, one of the first components to check is the release valve. The release valve, also known as the lowering valve, is responsible for allowing the hydraulic fluid to flow back into the reservoir, causing the forks to lower. If this valve is stuck or damaged, the forks won't go down. Here's what you can do to fix this. Locate the release valve, usually found at the bottom of the handle or near the hydraulic pump. Check if the valve is stuck or not moving freely. Try lubricating the valve with a penetrating oil or silicone spray. If the valve is damaged, replace it with a new one. Another common issue is a broken or misaligned spring. The spring plays a crucial role in supporting the weight of the load and assisting in the lowering process. If it's damaged or not properly aligned, it can hinder the lowering function. To address this issue, you'll need to locate the spring, which is typically situated near the hydraulic pump or the fork linkage. Check if the spring is broken, stretched, or out of place. If the spring is broken, you'll need to replace it with a new one. If it's misaligned, carefully adjust it back into its proper position using pliers or a pair of locking pliers. A loose or misaligned chain may also cause the pallet to not lower properly. The chain connects the handle to the fork linkages. It helps to transfer the motion of the handle to the lifting mechanism. If the chain is loose or misaligned, it can cause slack or interference in the movement and prevent the forks from lowering. If the chain is in good condition, you can tighten it by adjusting the tensioner or tightening the bolts that secure the chain. Make sure the maximum tension or torsion limit of the chain must meet the manufacturer's instructions. However, if the chain is severely worn or damaged, a complete replacement would be the best bet. A clogged or damaged hydraulic pump can also cause issues with lowering. The hydraulic pump generates lifting pressure. If the pump is clogged due to dirt or debris or damaged by wear and tear, it can reduce or stop the flow of fluid and affect the lifting and lowering functions. Follow these steps to address this issue. Check for any visible damage or leaks in the pump. If the pump is clogged, disassemble it and clean it thoroughly with a degreaser or you can also try flushing the system with a hydraulic fluid cleaner. If the pump is damaged, replace it with a new one. The hydraulic system is a closed circuit that contains hydraulic fluid, hoses, valves, and cylinders. It relies on constant pressure to operate smoothly. If air gets into the system, it can create bubbles that disrupt the pressure and cause erratic or no movement of the forks. To fix this problem, you'll need to bleed the hydraulic system to remove any trapped air. You can bleed the air out by pumping the handle up and down several times while holding the trigger. You can also do this by opening the bleed valve if your pallet jack has won and letting the fluid drain out until no bubbles come out. Refer to your pallet jack's manual for specific instructions on how to bleed the hydraulic system properly. We have also made a detailed video on how to bleed a pallet jack, you can check it out too. The next cause could be a lack of lubrication between the handle and fork linkages. The handle and fork linkages are moving parts that require proper lubrication to function smoothly. If these components are dry or lack lubrication, it can cause the forks to become stuck or difficult to lower due to friction. Locate the pivot points and linkages between the handle and forks to fix this issue. Apply a high-quality lubricant, such as a lithium-based grease or a penetrating oil to these areas. Ensure that the lubricant is evenly distributed and move the handle back and forth to help the lubricant penetrate the moving parts. And there you have it. 
Dealing with a pallet jack that won't go down can be frustrating, but by following the steps outlined in this video, you can troubleshoot and resolve many common issues. Remember, proper maintenance and regular inspections are essential to keeping your pallet jacks in top working condition. While many of these issues can be fixed with some basic troubleshooting and repairs, there may be times when professional assistance is required. If you've tried all the steps mentioned above and your pallet jack still won't go down, or if you encounter any issues beyond your skill level, it's best to call a professional repair service. A qualified technician can diagnose and repair any underlying issues more effectively. In addition to that, if you need high-quality pallet jack replacement parts, check out our website, palletjackson.com. We are a leading supplier of pallet jack parts in the industry. We have a team of experienced and certified technicians who can guide you through any pallet jack problem you may have. We also have a large inventory of parts for all makes and models of pallet jacks. Whether you need a new valve, spring, chain, pump, hose, cylinder, fork, wheel, or any other part, we have it in stock and ready to ship. We offer fast delivery, competitive prices, and excellent customer service. Check the links in the description to learn more about our offerings and services. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more useful content. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below, and we'll do our best to address them. Until next time, take care.